Hey everyone, have you ever wondered how to create a two column table of contents in Microsoft Word? Maybe you have a document like I do that is extremely long um, and the table of content is probably going to take up about five or six pages, maybe even more by the time I'm finished and I don't want it to take up that many pages. So I want to compact it. So I'm going to show you how. <clears throat> So the first thing I'm going to do is move what I have on my first page down to about about three pages. And that's just my personal preference. So there we go. I have moved everything down to page number three. OK, I'm going to go up because I need to separate the pages. I'm going to go to page number one at the bottom and I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to click on breaks and I'm going to click on next page separating page number one from page number two. On page number two, <clears throat> I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to do the same thing, which is separating page number one from page number two and page number two from page number three. So nothing I'm doing on the table of content interferes with the rest of my, um, with the rest of what I'm doing. So you can see where the section breaks are. And if you click on the bottom, you'll see that's the section one. This is page one, section two. This is page two and everything after section two is section number three. So I can literally pull the first page of my document back over to page number three, but I'll do that after. So this is just to show you what the, the breaks do. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to take this off and I am going to insert my table of content. So I'm going to go to references, I'm going to go to table of contents, and I'm going to insert the table of contents. And as you can see, again, it's a very long table of content. And like I said, I'm not even finished with creating the actual document. So I now want to make this table of content into two columns so that it's more compact. So I'm going to go here at the end of the word contents in the table of content. So I'm going to go after the S, that's where my cursor is. I'm going to go back up to layout and I am going to click on breaks again. And this time I'm going to click on continuous. Okay, so this is separating the word contents from the rest of the document. Now to turn the document into a two column document, I am going to highlight the entire table of contents. Okay, so there it's highlighted. I'm going to go back up to layout and then I'm going to go to columns. I'm going to click on two columns. And there it has turned this document, this table of contents into two columns. As you can see, one column, two columns. But I don't like how it looks. It looks messy and it doesn't look uniform. So there's some things I need to change about it so that it looks the way I want it to look. So to do that, <clears throat> I'm going to go back here to references. I'm going to click on table of contents again. I'm going to come down here where it says custom table of contents. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go here where it says modify. I'm going to click on modify. I am on TOC one. So anything that I have in head as a header one in the document is what's going to change when I make these changes. So I'm going to click on modify. I'm going to come here. This is the font that I want, but I want the font to stand out more. So I am going to make this font 14. I also want it to be bold. These are my sections. I want it to be, um, I don't want it to be justified. I want it to have a left tab. So I'm going to click on that, but I do want it to be a different color. And so as you can see in the document already, it has already started changing. Uh, I want it to be red so that it stands out, right? And let me see if I do 12, what does 12 look like? Okay, maybe I'll do 12 for now. And then I'm gonna click okay, right? And I do wanna change these words. This is my header two words. Uh, so I'm going to go to TOC two. I'm gonna go here to modify. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna take this all the way down to eight so that it fits more neatly. Black is fine. I'm gonna go here. Okay, okay. And I'm gonna press okay again. It's gonna ask me if I wanna replace the table of content. I am going to say yes. And there. 
it has uh, totally updated the table of content. It looks nice. It looks uniform. And I have my two column table of content. And that's it. That's how you do it. I hope you found this very informative. Bye.